pounding through time. Once I understood, I gotta get the base as big as I can, as fast as I can, because there's gonna be times in the future where I can't invest. And so I need to get this money as much as I can right now. And so is, this isn't, for me, it isn't about retirement. I haven't had a W-2 job in, since I was 34. I mean, it's almost been 20 years. I, retirement's not something that I think about. I'm just gonna do this game until I'm done. What, what I'm talking about is financial independence, okay? Retirement's for people that wanna work until they're 60, 65. We're talking about financial independence or, getting, or becoming wealthy, right? That's a different thing, you know? If you wanna talk retirement, lots of people will do that for you. You know, and that's all silly shit, like 10% of your income, put it in a 401k, put it, that shit works. That works. That's why when I talk about in the money flow, we have an edge. Our edge is, yeah, over time, stocks go up. And yeah, if you put money in consistently over time, it goes up. Duh. Okay. We want to go further than that. So I don't want to put 10%. I want to put 50 fucking percent. And I want to do this as long as I can. And if I can do this for a seven to 10 year period, that base can easily, you know, for me, it got to this. Because what happens is if once you learn the yield part, and you start understanding that the whole world isn't on an index fund. I don't have to buy an index fund. I can, but I'm not limited to the S&P. I might find a duplex, right? And so I house hack it. I live on this side and maybe I rent this side. That's just one example. I didn't do that. I don't want to live next to my tenants. I mean, I would if I was young, especially if I was young. You guys that are like 23, 24, 25, and you're renting an apartment. That's so fucking dumb. Get out of here, man. In today's day and age, you don't have to be a dumbass. That's choice, by the way. You can choose these things. You could choose, and that's what number three is going to be, structuring your life. You just make the choice. Most people are not. Now, you're going to watch this, and you're actually not going to do anything. You're not going to make any changes. That is actually what most people will do. But I'm telling you, if you do, I have countless emails, DMs from people who make these structural changes, such as no longer renting, but now you're an owner or you're renting and now you bought a twoplex or a fourplex and maybe it's not as nice as what you had. Who gives a fuck? Right now we're in the accumulation stage, right? So that when we're 35 and 40, we're millionaires, right? But you gotta make that change, all right? So you move out of your parents' house or your mama's house or whatever, because you're good credit, right? Remember we said we got our credit right. We figured out our net worth. We eliminated our debt, the buckets. And now we can make this structural move that allow us to buy a property that's worth 300, 400, 500,000. That gets a lot easier when you're living on 50% of your income and you have no debt and you're investing. Now, the only way to possibly do that is it has to actually be a dream and a goal of yours. See, if it's a dream and a goal and you actually don't take effort, it's actually not a dream or a goal. So when I say dream or a goal, I'm talking about you are structuring your life around it. It becomes the center point, the center focus. Life is about this. The job you have is to serve this. Everything around you is to serve this. And in the moment it's not serving this, one of them has to give or bend or break, right? And so you have to sometimes be unreasonable if this is your goal or dream, you know? You might not be able to help your mama or your brother or do that or do this because that will interfere and fuck up your dream or goal. And I'm telling you, if you let it, life will not let you accomplish your dream or goal. It will always have a reason or a problem or something going on as to why you shouldn't buy that property or why you shouldn't invest in those stocks, why you shouldn't start that business, why you shouldn't do this. There's always a reason for you not to do anything and to sit your ass on the couch and do nothing. There is always that. So you're gonna have to push through that, man. That's what I talk about now. The head, the crown. You can't bully the king, all right, or the queen. So you gotta be the person that can't be pushed, can't be bullied, can't be talked into anything. So something as simple as one structural change of instead of being a renter buying a duplex could in 24 months change your net worth by 100, 150, 200 grand in 24 fucking months. One little transaction like that. It's crazy what could happen in such a quick time if you make drastic changes and do something. Um, so that ties in. Once we decide, so I decided I wanted to be a millionaire. Well, that means all jobs that I have, all retirement accounts, what I, you know, what I do for a living, how I arrange my life. The sole purpose of that is for this, okay? 
It's not for something else. It's not for them. It's not for this. It's not for this. It's not for my kid to do this. It's for this. All right? And if I accomplish that, that's going to help everyone. The richer you are helps everyone around you. This is not being selfish. You have to be selfish in order to be able to give. You know? that You get what I'm saying? So in order to be a person who can be generous and give and help other people, it doesn't do you any good to help them with the little money you have. You, need, you want to get where you can help them out of abundance so then you can actually help people and not affect your life in, 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 you know, in a negative way. Um, you know, Robert Kiyosaki, we talked about this earlier, was the E, employee, B, business, S, I've been S most of my life, self-employed. That's actually not a business, by the way. And then I, this is the thing that I do a lot. So I'm pretty much self-employed and then I am an investor. And ultimately, whether you're an employee or a business owner or self-employed, the goal is to get all your money there. Because there's going to come a time where the, whatever you do for a living, nobody's going to need it. Or it's going to be outsourced. Or AI is going to take over. Or somebody's going to come from another country and do it cheaper. Like this is a constant revolving problem. You know, uh, people own horses and the car came. You know, you saw the cab companies crying about Uber. AI is going to replace a lot of these simple jobs you see people doing. And they're all too fucking busy to look at stocks or invest. And yet computers are going to replace them. I mean, you can't be that complacent in life. So as a, as, as a person who's trying to become a millionaire, you have to be observant to the world around you. When you go into a business, what are they doing good? What are they doing bad? How long does it take them to get the money? What do the employees look like? Or do I see any stocks in here? What are people doing? Just scanning all the time like a shark. You're looking. That's how you find outsized and out of the ordinary opportunities. They, they're not going to just come to your house and knock on the door. You're going to have to find them, okay? So you start this through practice. And we go back to time. Time. It takes time to learn to be a good investor. You're not going to come in in four, five, six months. You're not going to know shit. You're going to think you're nothing. You don't know nothing. It takes time. Years. Same with this concept of hunting stocks and looking and using charts and swing trading. This shit takes time, you know? It's just something you do as part of your day. And if you feel like you don't have time, you know, hey, fuck off, it's not for you. You're not gonna get, you don't get to be a good trader, okay? That's just the way it is. If you find you're having to make time, you shouldn't have to make time. You should do it and then make time for other things. So you just gotta reverse the order, man. Um, and I know you've heard this where they say investing first, what do they call that? Invest in first in yourself, which we'll, we'll, we do talk about. But when you get paid, you know, first thing I do is invest. That's no bullshit. You can ask people around me. If you buy a book or you do business with me or you rent a house from me or whatever I'm doing to make money, if I get my hands on it, the moment you hand it to me, bam, I invest some. And then I got to make do with the rest. Now, I may invest a little less if I know I have some shit over here I got to do, right? But the first thing I do is invest. Most people, that's not the way it works. The first thing you do is pay taxes. <laughs> I don't do that. I pay that later. See, they're going to take, most people are set up when you're an employee. The tax system is against you. It's actually rigged against you. You actually, it's actually against you, right? So when you buy a phone, you're just buying a phone. When I buy a phone, it's a write-off. You know, you buy a chair, you're buying a chair. If I buy a chair, it's a write-off. You get what I'm saying? And so... Yes, 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 yes. Hey, man, thanks for making it to the end of this channel. Hey, check out my site, GeraldPeters.info. And for our stock moves, check out ThePetersReport.com. Also, while you're there, click the link to get my free ebook. You don't have to die broke. I think it'll help you. I think it'll bless you. And if you own it, Read it again, man. It's not a one-time read. This is a religion. Building wealth has to become in the mind. You have to have a renewing of the mind. You have to have a change. You have to restructure your life. Otherwise, you're just going to get the same old results you've been getting, the same old results your friends get. Now listen, I know you got everything inside of you that you need to be more, to do more, and to have more. And if you need somebody in your corner, Hey, let me do that. God bless.